Greetings, welcome back. Today we're going to look at a couple of ways to prevent errors in your spreadsheets. This can be used both in Google Sheets as well as Microsoft Excel. I'm going to be walking through the example in Microsoft Excel because there are, in my opinion, a few handy things that are not included in Google Sheets. But the gist of this you can do in both. And I have created a uh, duplicate sheet in Google Sheets. And both of these will be linked in the description below. So you can check them, either of them out and you can make a copy of them. You can go file, save as in Excel, download or create an online copy. Same thing over here in Google Sheets. Download or make a copy. And you can play around with this yourself. So what do we have here? For this example, I've just pulled three columns out, an inventory order and deliver column. Often staff will enter zero here. So, you know, zero, we don't need any, so we're gonna order a zero amount. Well, when we're fulfilling it, when we're looking at the ordered column, when we got a human looking at this, as we often do, uh, this becomes uh, cumbersome for the eyes. Okay, so what we're gonna do is select our whole C column. We're gonna click conditional formatting. We're gonna manage rules, uh, manage rules in selection rather than the sheet because we just want that column to contain this rule. We're gonna click that plus icon and you know, heck, we're just gonna do this whole C column. And now we're going to highlight cells with a cell value less than or equal to zero. All right, so check this out. Now if I just go da, 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 white, and then I put text color white, so the fill and the text are both white, check that out. These zero values are now, they're just not there. Now a small note, uh, you might notice these dotted lines. I removed the grid lines. Over here, I removed the grid lines from my sheet because when the grid lines were there and I conditionally formatted the cells with a white fill, it actually messed with the grid lines and I didn't want that to be the case. So um, I created my own grid lines, uh, as you can see here. Anyway, that's conditional formatting. Moving on. Over here is another way to do it. In our second set, uh, we've got the same type of setup. And in this one, we have data validation. We'll go up here in the tab for data. Uh, in the ribbon, this will pop up. You can pop open data validation. And we can see here that I am allowing a whole number, and there's a bunch of other options, greater than zero, and ignore blank, uh, blank values. Then I can put a, a nice little uh, input message. So this is handy, and this is another leg up that uh, this has, Excel has on Google Sheets. You can't have this little message on Google Sheets for some reason. You can have an alert uh, or an error alert, but you can't have an input message. So this is cool. I mean, it says whenever I'm on one of those cells, hey, hello, please leave blank if you're not ordering. And lo and behold, if I try to enter a zero, whoa, there is a data validation rule here. Someone set a validation rule. So that's, that's kind of the default message. You can retry and you can enter a number um, or you can ignore or cancel and you know it just reverts back to a number. Okay, this is equally as uh, helpful, but let's see what else we can do. We can just actually combine it with our conditional formatting. So we can still have, let me show you the data validation. We can still have all this set up the same uh, input message, and then we can add an error message. So we can uh, just warn the person if they try to enter a zero that, hey, leave that blank. Please leave blank rather than entering a zero. And so down here, it'll say, hey, I tried to enter a zero, and hey, please leave that blank. But if we only have a warning, it will let us continue. So, uh, you know, if someone's stubborn and they just want a zero to be there, they can put it there. If you apply conditional formatting like we did back here, uh, you can keep it blank. If for some reason you have a good reason to allow that uh, to be still entered after the warning. In our final example, uh, we're just going to block that altogether, though. In this data validation, all this is the same, but then we have an error alert that blocks the value, okay? So just like in our default example, if we hit zero, you can't do that. We have a, a message that explains it however we want to explain it, and then if you hit retry, you know, you can enter a value, but but you can't, you can't actually overwrite it to, to enter zero, okay? So these are some safeguards that we have put in place. I hope that's helpful for you. Uh, hey, if you don't mind, I would love for you to hit the like button on this video. It really helps me and the channel out as I'm trying to grow my educational tech content. 
so that more people can see it. Thanks so much for that. And if you uh, could even subscribe to the channel as well, that would be awesome. We're shooting for that thousand subscriber mark this year, my 2023 goal. Thanks so much for your time. I appreciate you. You're awesome. Bye.